Nigeria will join the rest of the world to mark Tourism Day on the 27th of September 2020 with the theme Tourism and Rural Development. The Commissioner of Tourism and Culture in Ugo State, Ugo Naibe, he joins us now live to on WebEx to speak on tourism prospects in Enugu State, Nigeria. Glad to have you join us, Ugona. Well, 27th September. Yes, 27th September, uh, the world will be celebrating Tourism Day. I, I live in Enugu, actually, or I, I had lived in Enugu. Uh, what are the sites in Enugu that defines Enugu, the coast city, as it is called, as a tourist state? Uh, once again, thank you for having me. And uh, my name, as you already know, is Honorable Gonibe, the State Commissioner for Culture and Tourism, Enugu State. Uh, before I proceed with your questions, I'd like to correct uh, one impression. And that impression is about the theme of uh, this uh, year's uh, Tourism Day. And uh, you just said that it's about developing rural development. Uh, it is a wrong one. The theme actually is uh, building peace and fostering knowledge. So it is important to understand what the theme is all about. Okay, going back to your questions. Uh, uh, this day is very important to us here in Enugu State because uh, we have a lot of tourist sites to really, really harness. That could be a veritable source of uh, revenue to the state and Nigeria. So uh, talking about our sites, we have first among all is the Ohom Waterfall. Ohom Waterfall is uh, situated at Udi North. And it's a very wonderful place and a very wonderful site to behold. We have uh, the Eziago Water Complex. Uh, it's called the Train One Complex in Eziago Tourist, uh, Tourist Center. And it comprises of the Obagada Waterfall, the Henneke Lake, and the, the cave. Then going further down, even in my own local government of local government where I came from, at Isuawa, we have the Egedu Cave and the Oberofu waterfall. And we have the uh, pine forest at Ungu and the uh, waterfall and caves as well. So there are so many of them. We have the, on the ecosystem, we have the crocodile sanctuary at the Aneozala and the Obanuku, all in our local, Obanuku is on, in our local government area, while the Aneozala is at Nkano. Uh, so, so many of them here, and uh, we are looking forward to open up our visa for investors to come in and uh, partner with us to harness this potential. Uh, and, and so what does the government do? Uh, what are you planning to do, especially in this new norm of COVID-19? How do you hope to harness, uh, you know, these tourist sites in your state to help increase your revenue? Oh, well, you see, just uh, talking about the pandemic, uh, thank God we are beginning to relax the lockdown across the whole states in Nigeria, Enugu State being one of them. So, and uh, uh, we're talking about, you know, bringing in, opening up our corridors and our, you know, ch all our channels to attract investors to come in and, uh, you know, be partner with us in the development of this uh, sites. Uh, we understand that government cannot do uh, most of these things on, on their own, and uh, the basic duty for the government here is to create the enabling environment, which the government of His Excellency, Right Honorable Dr. Ifan Yuguan, have done and have been doing over the years, talking about security. Uh, Enugu State was rated one of the most secure states in Nigeria to do business. So, on that basis, who are opening up our frontiers uh, for investors to come in and partner with us with the development of the story size, which I have mentioned a few of them. So this is what we're doing currently, and we're going to be doing a lot of documentaries and uh, putting it across Nigeria and to the international community for them to see what we have, you know, because information is power. When they don't have this information, they obviously don't know about the existence of all these sites. So this is we're working in that direction to piece up all this information together all right. and push it to the rest of the world. Ugona, uh, let's look at uh, 
Well, all right. Uh, Nigeria seems to focus on petroleum. What are the economic impacts of developing the tourism sector in Nigeria? Uh, the, the economic impact is overwhelming. Uh, using Enugu as a case study, uh, we know that most of all the storage sites are locally situated in the rural areas. It is one of the cardinal points of uh, Governor Ifan Uguay to develop rural areas so that rural people can be empowered. So what I'm talking in effect is that if we're able to develop these storage sites that are in the rural areas, it will increase actually in a multiplier proportion uh, the, uh, the employment opportunities, the job opportunities in the local areas. And when we have all this our tourism thriving, you have people coming in from different parts of the world, especially with the opening up of the Academy and International Airport. We see people coming in. And when people come in, uh, it will have a knock-on effect. This is what we call a visible hand in economics. You see the, uh, uh, the taxi drivers, the transport uh, workers, and hoteliers, and uh, of course, the rural people, every one of them will be uh, making bumper harvest. All right, uh, Ugo Naibe, thank you so much uh, for being on Newsday.